Welcome to Sheep Suit, the home of grazable Christian thought. Today's brain graze, church security. Now, this has been on my list of subjects that I could make Sheep Suit episodes out of for a long time. Sadly, it has suddenly been made more relevant by the unfortunate events at the uh, the Lakewood Church, the, the shooting that was there. But I've been feeling you know, kind of insecure going to churches for the last few years, and it hasn't been a big deal, but it is something I think about. It seems that so many churches have a, a cliquish, in-group kind of mentality, if they're small, or maybe just a entertainment theater mentality, if they're big. I don't really have any mega churches close to me. I have small churches and I have micro mega churches. I've got mega church wannabe churches, but I really don't have any mega churches close by. Uh, I can't say I've been to one for many, many years. A couple months ago, I visited a, a small church of maybe a hundred people a few miles from where I live. And I, I, I was all bundled up. It was, it was winter, beautiful sunny day. And I walked into this church and I spoke with a couple of the, the AV guys, the young AV guys in the back. And I asked them some questions about their screen setup. And then I, I went and sat down while the rest of the congregation walked through the door and all had these, you know, immediately formed into clusters of people having, I guess, what are really important conversations with each other to catch up and uh, get up on stage and, and get the, the worship team going, the, the guitar players and get all that set up and uh, just get the get the show on the road so to speak and I just sat there in the middle of the room and nobody even acknowledged that I was there there were no eyes on the entrance I just walked in and sat down and it was very obvious that I wasn't a part of that group one person walked by about oh, eight feet away and said Hiya. That's about it. That's right. All I get when I visit many churches is a distant hiya. I guess just walking up and shaking hands and introducing oneself is beyond the interpersonal skills of the vast majority of Christian worshipers on Sunday morning. They're either there to, they're in a small church, they're there to check up with their clique or a big church. They're just there to go into zombie mode and be entertained by the the corporate worship service. So I started thinking over the last couple of years, well, what is it about going into a room where um, most people are there to just tune in, tune out, become hypnotized by a show, and the people up front have got their minds on producing and creating the show. And then there's AV people in the back who are recording, broadcasting, podcasting, whatever casting the show, but nobody's looking at the front door. Why not? Everybody's back is turned and nobody's watching the front door. Do you let people just wander in your house? Do you think that in the first century or the second or the third at times when, especially when Christians were being persecuted, that you could just, if you knew where the Christians were meeting, that you could just walk in and sit down and nobody would ask you who you were, where you were from, why you were there? I don't think so. And if I was in charge of a church, 
like that'll ever happen. But if I was, I would make sure that no matter what's going on, there were always at least one set of eyes on the entrance uh, to see who is who is coming in and to immediately greet them and shake their hand and say howdy and at least gain an understanding of what's who and what is walking into the building. You would think that would just be common sense, but I found in the church world, common sense just isn't that common. Something to think about. That's all for now. Keep the wool out of your eyes.